From WNY News, this is First Morning Weather. Well, welcome back. It was a cool day today across the Twin Tiers. Temperatures stuck in the 60s thanks to the overcast conditions and occasional showers and pretty much expecting more of the same for tomorrow. Now the official high temperature today came in at 65 degrees and we had a low of 59, so not much of a spread there. A normal high for this time of year sits at 70 degrees. Temperatures at this hour mainly in the 50s and we're not expecting much more movement through the overnight period. Most will stay in the mid 50s for lows 57 in Bath, 59 in Elmira and 57 the current temperature in Tawanda. Precipitation very light and spotty across our region for tonight. Mainly just a couple sprinkles or some patchy drizzle out there, but more showers kind of waiting off to the south and west here. And this is what's going to lift through during the day tomorrow. So uh, we may start off on a dry note, overcast conditions, but chances for showers will increase as we progress through the day. Again, not too much showing up locally at this late hour. Future track tomorrow showing again overcast conditions to start. Notice as we approach lunchtime, here come the showers moving in from the south and west. So occasional showers through the afternoon. That's going to hold temperatures back to below average levels yet again. Variably cloudy skies for tomorrow night. Spotty showers still possible. And also we can't rule out a couple more spotty showers as we head through the day on Wednesday. Otherwise, just basically cloudy skies in place. Now rainfall totals as we head through the next couple of days, generally up to about a half an inch or so, at least on average. So we're not anticipating anything on the heavy side. And this is beneficial rains as it's been dry as of late. So for tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday, still the chance for a couple showers. And beyond that, it looks dry heading into the weekend. Let's take a look at the tropics right now. And we have tropical cyclone nine, or at least potential tropical cyclone nine, uh, strengthening here of the northwestern Caribbean moving off to the north northwest at about six miles an hour expected to strengthen here in the coming days as it moves into the Gulf of Mexico and uh, could be a category two hurricane as it makes landfall the, the Florida hit panhandle here Thursday afternoon or evening and then it'll rapidly weaken and dissipate as it pushes through the Ohio Valley right now we're not anticipating any impacts locally as high pressure will be in control, but we'll keep you posted in the coming days. 67 is what we forecast for today. 65 was our high temperature. Here's a look now at our forecast for the overnight period. 55, some patchy drizzle out there with cloudy conditions. 68 is what we're shooting for for tomorrow uh, with a couple more showers. Still a bit unsettled Wednesday, a little bit more sunshine Thursday. Nice boost in temperatures and right now the weekend Looking pretty nice, Nick. Partly sunny skies, temperatures in the mid 70s. Wow. So that would be about five degrees above average. All right, let's get to your trivia. I think I know this one. All right, we'll take a look. We're talking about uh, the coldest temperature ever recorded on Earth. So I think you're playing a trick with us. Most people would want to say Antarctica. I'm actually going to go with Asia. Okay. Oh, come on. No, no. See, <laughs> now, of course, they've had frigid temperatures uh -huh. in Siberia. But the official coldest temperature, minus 128 degrees Fahrenheit, Vostok uh, Station, Antarctica, July 21st. Of course, their winters are in wow. our summer months, July 1983. All right. Thank you very much, Thank Joe.